Good morning. Thanks for taking the time to interview with me today. I'm Rachel. Nice to meet you, Rachel. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Can I call you Candace? Mm -hmm. Sure, that's how everyone calls me. Are you nervous? I absolutely am. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't worry. This is just a conversation between two people. So I'm going to be asking you questions about yourself, about how good of a fit you are to the job. Uh, pretty basic questions because this is just an initial interview, you know? Mm -hmm. So just think of this like we're having a light chat about yourself. I will definitely try. Perfect. So let's start easy. <laughs> Why don't you, of course, tell me something about yourself? Okay. So I began my studies in communications at Eastern Davao Academy, which helped me develop my interpersonal and analytical skills. Unfortunately, I had to step back due to financial challenges. But during my time in college, I participated in various group activities and even led some of them, which helped me hone my communication skills. While I might not have completed my degree, I believe that the skills I've acquired make me a good fit for this role. Mm -hmm. and, and why did you consider joining our call center? Um, a friend of mine who used to work here spoke very highly of Question's positive work environment and teamwork. And I, I, I believe that I want to be a part of that, especially with my background in communications. I know I can contribute to the company. And honestly, I have been drawn to roles where I can directly help people and find solutions. Okay. But do you have a grasp of the day-to-day -day duties of a call center agent? Definitely. So a call center agent handles customer increase, troubleshoots issues, and could also sometimes sell products and services depending on the brand's needs. They also just do not address concerns, but they make sure that each interaction is as, as positive as it could be because it reflects the, the, the image of the brand. Okay. So about schedules, you know, graveyard shifts, holidays, shifting hours. How do you feel about that? Well, I've prepared myself mentally for it. I've, I've researched a lot about the job. I know that this could involve some considerable amount of stress and I'm prepared for it. For me, adaptability is the key in today's world where everything is changing. And how would you handle stress or handle challenging customers? Well, for me, I've always thought of handling difficult customers as a sort of a friendly debate. Uh, the goal is not about winning, but more about understanding the other person's perspective, putting yourself in their shoes, and then coming up with ways on how to, to cooperate with the other person. So I, I think I would approach customer service that way. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a refreshing take on it. You know, seeing it as a chance to connect instead of a hurdle definitely makes a lot of difference when it comes to dealing with customers and dealing with stress. But how would you handle feedback or criticism? Uh, for me, feedback is more like a roadmap. It shows where I am and where I need to go. So as long as it's a constructive feedback, I really appreciate it and I would welcome it with open arms because it helps me grow okay. and do better. It's not always easy to hear, but it's beneficial in the long run. Good perspective. And with the current global situation, how comfortable are you with remote work or potential changes to the work environment? I'm quite comfortable. Um, I've set up a quiet space at home with my laptop and I believe I'm quite tech savvy enough to be able to keep up with the tools and I heard that there's a lot of tools um, but I think I can keep up with it. I believe in staying updated and flexible so I'm confident with my ability to work remotely. And what about your studies? Any plan to resume it in a year or two? I've definitely thought about it but I finally decided that I would first work f for a living for three years and then decide what to do from there. I feel like at this point, the most beneficial step for me would be to earn money for a living and gain some real world experience.
And before we wrap this up, I see here in your resume that you worked in a local cafe during your college years. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about that experience and how you think it prepares you for this role as a call center agent? Absolutely. So at the cafe, I managed the front counter. I was the one taking orders from customers. But for me, it was never just about taking orders. It was also about adjusting to customers and making sure that they get the best experience possible. I had to adapt quickly, especially during rush hours and also communicate clearly with both the customers and the kitchen staff. It only lasted for a few months because I had to go back to school. That was only for the summer. But for me, it taught me patience and the importance of clear communication and adaptability. And I think these experiences are crucial for a call center position. Yes, that is definitely a relevant experience. And do you have any questions for me? Yes, I'm curious. Uh, what is the typical progression of someone who starts as a call center agent in your company and wants to maybe in the future climb to a higher position? Okay, well, that's a great question. So agents who perform consistently well can move up to become team leads, uh, QA, trainers, or move into other departments depending on the skills. And the good thing is we also have a program called Ascend where promising agents have the opportunity to receive training for whatever roles they're trying to be promoted to. Wow. Wow, that's very interesting. Thank you so much for explaining that. My pleasure. So Candice, based on our conversation today, you have passed the initial interview. Congratulations. Really? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate this opportunity. My pleasure. So the next step will be Versant and Typing Speed. Uh, we have available slots for Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Does Wednesday, 9 a.m. work for you? Yes, Wednesday would be perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's Wednesday, 9 a.m. And again, congratulations for passing this initial interview. Thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you so much for giving me a chance. If you want to learn the 10 tips on how to ace your initial call center job interview, continue watching from here up to the very end of this video. So my number one tip is to show that you understand the job description of a call center agent. Hey, Maria, thank you for coming in. Uh, before we move forward, I'd like to gauge your understanding of the industry. Can you describe what you believe are the responsibilities of a call center agent? To me, a call center agent is the voice of a company or a brand. So depending on the needs of a brand, 